Greetings from Malno Park, the home of Thomas Alva Edison. I came here to celebrate, to celebrate the man who invented light bulb. It was 1884, Thomas Alva Edison sitting over here in Malno Park, dreaming to light every single house around the world. The president of the United States was William Arthur. However, Thomas Edison, in some sense, much more powerful than William Arthur because Thomas Edison, it was not William Arthur, but Thomas Edison holding the power, holding the power to light up every single house around the world. So Thomas Edison, in some senses, much more powerful than William Arthur. So this powerful man in 1884 hired many people to accomplish his dream, including an immigrant named Nikola Tesla. I want to help you understand the DC current. What makes it DC current or direct current is that the electron flows only one direction, current flows only one direction, and that's what I'm going to explain in this video. The electrons, these are the electrons, electron moves from negative terminal to the positive terminal. So this is the negative terminal, this is positive terminal, electron moves from negative terminal to positive terminal, and current moves from positive terminal to the negative terminal. So in this video, I'm going to help you understand the complex circuit, a complex DC circuit using Ohm's law. So this is bulb number one. This is bulb number two, this is bulb number three, and this is bulb number four. This is, this is a DC circuit. We're going to use the Ohm's law to turn it to a simple circuit. We're going to call it circuit number one. Now we're going to draw circuit number two with three resistors. Okay, let's first find the equivalent resistance for these two resistors. So This one is also 4 ohms, all right, okay, and this would be 4 plus 4 plus 4, 12 ohms, 2 ohms, all right, so 12 ohms, who is the parent of 12 ohms? 4, 4, and 4, they are the parents of 12 ohms, and they are in series relationship, that means they have same current. So now we can easily find the voltage for each of them. So voltage would be 4 times 2, 8. Voltage would be 4 times 2, 8. The voltage would be 4 times 2, 8 volt. Okay. Now we know the voltage and current for each and every bulb at circuit 2. Now we're going to take it to the circuit 1. Now the 4, who is the parent of these 4 ohms? This two are the parent of four ohms and they are in parallel relation what does that mean that means their voltages are same so voltage over here is eight volt and voltage is eight volt okay so then what is the current so the current is eight over six eight over two ohms okay so we know now voltage and current for each and every single resistor this one is the same this one voltage is 8 and the current is 2 this one voltage is 8 and current is 2 so we know voltage and current for ball 4 we know voltage and current for ball 3 we know voltage and current for ball 2 and we know voltage and current for ball 1 